Okay, we're back for game two between Oliver King and Josh Grace. This time Oliver's on the bottom of the screen and Josh is at the top. And uh, for those watching, the, the big takeaway from game one was don't listen to Will or myself <laughs> when we tell you to concede. Play yeah, on. Yeah. Just, keep, just keep playing. No, don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to us. We're, we're totally not experts in the field. <laughs> does, um, does Josh's deck play days at all? Um, does he play what? The, the, the counter spell called Days, so you can uh, return no. an island instead of. No. Oh, thought sees so. Oh, so we, a sneak we see. Attack. Yep. What does he take here? I mean, he'd have to. Does he? He can't take. He takes a, the sneak attack. Yep. Yeah, you have to. Because, I mean, now the next three or four turns is him frantically searching for something that's going to give give him what he needs. Yeah. And, and j j I was told from a very good player, a mistake that I always make is you always play to the cards on the board, not what you think is coming. Okay. So, so you take the sneak attack, he doesn't have the sneak attack. Even though he has the preordain and the brainstorm, he could potentially find it. It's not a guaranteed sneak attack. Right. So he, he set up here for... A, he preordained to draw the second land. So I'm just looking. He put he bottomed one and put one on top. So he was actively looking for that second, so that when the ancient tomb comes down, he can cast sneak attack. Right. And we'll we'll see a brainstorm end of turn here. So he's going to dig mm -hmm. a bit deeper again. Mm-hmm. Now we did see a longer sideboard in between, which I think is worth to mention. Um, my guess is it was on Josh's part and Buman um, to really try to figure out. You know what happened in the first match, and if there's a, a really hard counter to what uh, Oliver's playing. Yeah, I, I think the the key for Oliver, I'm sorry, the key for Josh here is just to stop that natural order, because Josh's deck has got what, what we could call inevitability about it. If, yes. If he can get to that sneak attack and he can cast the Emrakul, regardless of how many creatures uh, Oliver has out, they're going to get swept. Right. Uh, so he needs to get the sneak attack. Oliver, I'm guessing, bought that thought seize from the sideboard, so he probably only has one or two. But but the natural order can end the game just as quickly as the sneak attack can. Right. Um, <laughs> I'll mention here my the bane of my existence in Modern and Legacy. Um, it pretty much my my blue red in standard, the, my pain point in standard. <laughs> um, the storm decks in Modern and Legacy are my pain point. I, I hate them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love to play against Storm when I can resolve something like a rest in peace. Right. But, but apart from that, yeah, I'm, a, I'm with you. I don't like them at all either. So because there's a... Go ahead, I'm sorry. sorry. No, no, sorry. I was going to say the sneak attack's down, so... Yeah, they're ridiculous. So the Doom counter's on the board already. So we, we, <laughs> we, the Doom clock is ticking. Well, he's, or, got, uh... he's got three cards in hand. We don't know what right. any of them are now, I don't think. He's cast... Right. Yeah, he cast the Brainstorm, so I can shut that... Here's a glimpse of nature to draw the extra cards, but from what I understand of the elf deck, elves deck, it just it doesn't have an answer to a sneak attack resolved. Right. Um, so he's going for the the heritage druid there. Well, he's going to force a will and exile show and tell. So oh. Josh goes down to one card. That's probably a good sign for Oliver. Josh is playing off the top of his deck again. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of wondering why he went, because I believe Show and Tell is the same mana cost as Sneak Attack. I'm kind of wondering why he went Sneak Attack instead of Show and Tell. Oh, because he didn't have a creature in hand. Doi. Are, are, are you referring to the previous turn to actually cast Show and Tell and then reveal Correct. Sneak Attack? Well, I, I think the problem with that line is that it would also enable Oliver to put something on the board. Mm -hmm. okay. Whereas hard casting the sneak attack means Oliver couldn't put anything down. Yeah, I I always liked the show and tell over the sneak attack in, in my opinion, just because it gave me a permanent, uh, in uh, rather than you know something that's going to fizzle at the end of my turn. Yeah, the, the the advantage here, I guess, for the show and tell is that Oliver doesn't have any uh, unless he's holding one of his threats like a progenitus or whatever. I, it doesn't I, have I, anything he, of value. He's not. Yeah. So the Lotus Petal is actually a decent play. It's going to give him some mana value. Um, 
well, could I, really help. I, I think he's got access to... The latest pedal gives three, is it? Three. Um, oh, it's only one. Okay. One, yeah, it's two, only one, three. but it's the color of his choice, and he, right. he doesn't... I, I think basically what we're seeing now is a race between if Josh yes. can find his threat before Oliver can finish him off. 100%. And that's where the annoyance comes in with the sneak, the, the, the sneak and show deck, is that you have the combo on board, you're just waiting for that one of the eight actual yeah. aggro pieces you have to show up. And in his natural order, so this could be over quickly, because he can, yes. he can hard cast a force of will, but he doesn't. So I think we're going to game three here. Oh, that's oh. the crater hoof. An 8-8 eight, eight haste. And everything has everything has. He's got is twelve. Haste. He's got he's got lethal on board. So yeah. we're going to game three. Game three. 